Have you ever wondered about the power that lies in a simple conversation? A single exchange of words can bridge gaps, mend relationships, and foster connections. Communication is the lifeblood of our social existence, a tool that lets us reach out and touch others in a profound way. But often we find ourselves trapped within the walls of our own mind, barricaded by a host of self-created doubts and fears. Will they welcome my words? Will I be a disturbance? Should I wait for them to initiate? These questions loom large, casting a shadow of uncertainty that deters us from dialing that number or typing that message. This self-imposed silence, this hesitation can lead to missed opportunities. The chance to connect, to understand, to empathize slips away, leaving behind a trail of longing and regret. The barriers we build often lead us to a path of longing and regret as we lose out on the opportunity to connect. There was a woman who wrote a letter to her estranged friend, expressing her deepest feelings and longings. This woman, let's call her Jane, spent her nights pouring her soul onto paper, trying to articulate the storm of emotions within her. She wrote about the times they shared, the laughter and the tears, the secrets only they knew. She wrote about the arguments that tore them apart, the misunderstandings that created a chasm between them. Jane wrote about her longing to bridge that chasm, to mend the friendship that once was. She wrote about the regret she felt for the words left unsaid and the actions left undone. Her pen danced on the paper, expressing what her voice could not. Yet, when the time came to send the letter, Jane faltered. She feared her friend's reaction, the possibility of rejection, the potential reopening of old wounds. And so, the letter remained unsent. It sat in a drawer, gathering dust, a testament to Jane's unexpressed feelings. Every day, Jane would pass by the drawer, a constant reminder of the friend she lost and the reconciliation she yearned for. Jane lived with the regret of not expressing her feelings, of missing the chance to mend their friendship. She lived with the longing to turn back time, to change the course of their story, but all she had was an unsent letter, a symbol of the whispers of silence that filled her life. Her unsent letter became a symbol of her unexpressed feelings and the longing she carried within her heart. A man once received a call from an old friend but decided not to answer it. This tale is about a man named Henry, an individual who allowed his judgments to cloud his actions. One day, his phone rang. The caller ID displayed a name he hadn't seen in quite some time. It was an old friend Jack. Henry caught in the whirlpool of his thoughts hesitated. Old memories and preconceived notions about Jack swirled in his mind, creating a barrier. He wondered, should I answer it or should I let it go to voicemail? The call ended before he could make up his mind. Henry shrugged it off, deciding it was for the best. After all, if it was important, Jack would call back, right? But the callback never came. Days turned into weeks and weeks into months. The missed call remained a ghost, lingering in the back of Henry's mind. Eventually, he learned through mutual acquaintances that Jack had been going through a tough time when he called. He had needed someone to talk to, a friend to lean on, and Henry wasn't there. This missed call became a symbol of the friend he couldn't help, an emblem of the opportunity he had lost. It served as a constant reminder that the time to communicate, to reach out, to connect, is always now. And so, the missed call became a reminder of the friend he could not help, and the regret that haunted him. A teenager once received a message from a classmate but chose to ignore it. Let's call him John. John was your typical teenager, engrossed in his world of music, video games, and the ever-present social media. One day, he got a message from a classmate, someone he shared a classroom with but didn't know very well. This classmate reached out to him, a simple, hey, can we talk? But John, consumed by his world, chose to ignore it. He thought it was just another trivial conversation, something that could wait, but it couldn't. Days turned into weeks and that unread message turned into a haunting memory. The classmate who had reached out was going through a rough time, seeking a friend, seeking help, but the help never came. The friend was never there. John found out later, much later, about the depth of the message he had ignored. It wasn't just a plea for conversation, it was a cry for help. The regret of ignoring that message, of not being there for someone in need, began to gnaw at him. And so John carried this regret, this longing to have been there for his classmate. He wished he had taken a moment to respond, to lend a listening ear, to be a friend when one was needed. But all he was left with was the memory of an ignored message. The ignored message became a mark of his regret and the longing to have done things differently. Each of these stories carries a lesson for us all. We've journeyed through the power of communication, the unsent letter, the missed call, and the ignored message. 
each tale a testament to the strength of human connection. We've seen the walls we build, the barriers we erect in our minds, and the whispers of silence that echo in the void. The power of communication lies not only in the words we say, but also in those we leave unsaid. The unsent letter showed us the importance of expressing our feelings, even if they may never reach the intended recipient. It's the act of letting go, of releasing the emotions trapped within us. The missed call taught us the significance of reaching out, of taking that first step towards connection. It's a reminder that every second counts, and that it's never too late to make a call, to extend a hand, to bridge a gap. The ignored message, on the other hand, highlights the value of recognition, of acknowledging the efforts of others. It's a call to not take communication for granted, to appreciate the words that come our way, and to respond with kindness and understanding. In the end, these tales underscore the importance of breaking down the barriers we create and of fostering open and honest communication. Remember, the whispers of silence often speak louder than words. Don't let regret and longing be the echoes of your silence.